Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so I already showed you how to solve this integral in a very fun way. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve it efficiently. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now note that um, x to the sixth plus one is equal to x squared plus one times uh, the quartic in red. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're going to use this throughout um, the solution. All right. First, let's rewrite the given integral as one half times two. And so the two and the integrand here to make up for the one half we wrote there, right? Uh, but otherwise, um, yeah, same as uh, before, right? Okay, now let's just set set aside this one half so that we don't have to write it over and over. Um, okay, cool. And this is no longer equal to the given integral, but yeah, uh, it's just um, double uh, the given integral, right? Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, uh, let's work on this. Now, note that we can write this uh, in this clever way. And uh, this is true because, well, x to the fourth minus x to the fourth is zero, and then we get one minus a negative one, and that's two, right? Otherwise, same denominator as before. Okay, cool. Now, let's call the first integral a and the second integral b. Let's work on a first. For a, notice that we can write the numerator of a, which is this here, in this fashion, and it's helpful for us to do that. Uh, as you'll see, yeah? Okay, also notice that this here is the cortex that's a factor of x to the sixth plus one, right? Okay, so we can write uh, divide by, um, instead of x to the sixth plus one, if we so chose, we can write this here, right? Now, look at what's wonderful. If we split this into uh, the sum of two quotients over this plus sign, so create a gap here, then when we have this over this, this guy is going to be canceled by that guy, right? So um, we can get rid of those and then create the gap and put that plus sign right there. And then the numerator uh, right there is going to be 1 dx. And then here, the denominator of this x squared has to be x to the sixth plus 1, right? Okay, we're going to do something about that too, and it's pretty neat. Uh, so first, it's uh, x to the sixth plus one, but notice that we can do this, which is in the numerator, first get rid of the x squared and replace it by three uh, x squared. Cool. So then we have to write times three in the denominator. That's fine. Uh, we can do that. But also notice that in addition to having times three, we can write the rest of it, x to the sixth plus one in this fashion, which is x cubed squared plus one. Notice that that's going to help us do a u substitution where if we claim u to be x cubed, then the numerator 3x squared is exactly du as soon as we write dx as we need to, right? Okay. Yeah, just pointing that out. Okay, our dx there. And so now the first integral uh, that makes up a is simply tan inverse of x. And the second integral is a third tan inverse of x cubed. I already showed you how to do it by suggesting the correct u and kind of like showing you the beginning steps. The rest of it is fairly straightforward. So we're done with A and let's set aside our answer. Okay, now on to B. So in B, notice that x to the fourth minus one using difference of squares can be written as uh, x squared plus one times x squared minus one, right? That's that. Okay, now our denominator, we know, can be factored in this fashion. And then we can do the cancellation here of x squared plus 1 since it appears uh, numerator and denominator. So what we have is going to be uh, this here. Now, intentionally, a gap here because what we're going to do is divide everything, both in the numerator and denominator, by x squared. So when we do uh, first, right, we'd have to write this. And then next, we simplify. Uh, and specifically, right, this here is going to be 1, and then minus 1 over x squared is x to the negative 2, right? Okay, cool. And then in the denominator, we're going to have, uh, well, it's pretty straightforward to see this, right? That's x squared, and then this is minus 1, right? Okay, you get it. Now, this here, we can write creatively, uh, and this is how. Uh, take note of it. It's x squared minus 1 plus x to the minus 2. We can write it like this. Because if we multiply x plus x to the negative 1 by itself, we get x squared and then plus 2 and then 
uh, plus x to the minus 2. And so to get back to where we were, which is x squared uh, plus x to the minus 2 minus 1, what we need to do is like throw that minus 3 outside. You can check it. Like this is what I said, or, or this is what we had had, right? This is what we'd had, and this is the same as uh, this here. Yeah, okay, cool. Now, this is very useful because what we're going to do, if you didn't see it, sneak peek, is uh, to let u be this. Then d u will have to be exactly the numerator. How convenient. Okay, so then that means that b can be written as d u divided by u squared minus 3. Now, notice that u squared minus 3 uh, can be factored as u plus root 3 times u minus root 3. So we can go in the direction of partial fraction decomposition. But I want the solution to be um, very efficient, so I'm just going to give you the start to the partial fraction decomposition, and you should know how to do this. And so if you do it correctly, you'll find that a is equal to 1 divided by 2 root 3, and b is equal to negative 1 divided by 2 root 3. So that means that the integral b is, if we factor out the 1 divided by 2 root 3, we can write... Um, 1 over u minus root 3. Remember, u minus root 3 was the denominator of a, and then um, the denominator of b was u plus root 3, and again, we've taken out uh, from a and b this factor and written it in front. Okay, okay, cool, but this is fairly straightforward. Uh, we have that this is the same as 1 over uh, 2 times root 3, the natural log of, ooh, I needed to have a minus sign here. Yeah, so forgive that. This is a minus sign right here. But I do it correctly, and what comes up, which is the natural log of uh, u minus root 3 divided by u plus root 3. Again, this plus sign needs to be a minus sign, but otherwise, uh, this is equal to this, right? Okay, okay, cool. So all we have to do is call back what we said was u, uh, which is this guy, and substitute there and there, and then we're done with uh, the integral b, right? Okay, so let's make room because we need it. So b is equal to, uh, again, again pointing out that's that u, right? And then otherwise that u that was sitting right there was bothering me. I'm glad it's gone. That's why I sped through it in <laughs> this part, but I already taught you through it also. Yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So um, this is b, and so our answer um, to the original problem had to be uh, a minus b times a half, right? So first, let's call back the minus in front of b. So um, that's a minus. That minus sign is this minus sign, right? And then otherwise, uh, we need or we can get rid of that stuff and then bring this guy down. That was the solution to a and then minus a b. But let's not forget, we also had had a little fellow we left aside, a one-half multiplying everything except for the plus c, right? So uh, let's put the one-half right there, parentheses right there and there, and voila, done. Yeah, cool. I hope you enjoyed this, and keep watching. Take